If you've never watched The Fuzz Speech, you should go look it up on YouTube. It's an old video of a somewhat kind of nerdy pathologist talking about how inactivity creates these layers of fuzzy webbing in between our connective tissues. It happens while we sleep each night and it happens when we don't move, when we're inactive. But movement melts the fuzz and you need to do it every day. I promise it's a five minute video that will forever change the way that you think about your body. So it's important to move our bodies and our joints through their full range of motion every day. I know it's hard when your muscles feel stiff and sticky, but movement is actually the antidote to stiffness. Part of the reason that I became a yoga teacher was because I've had so many back injuries as a nurse. I've herniated multiple discs and currently all five of my lumbar discs are bulging. I've had physical therapy and acupuncture and massage and chiropractic over the years and all of that helps a little bit, but it's a temporary fix. Um, if you aren't regularly strengthening and stretching and moving your body through all of its paces every day, then you're going to keep being in pain. At least that's how it was for me. And especially at the site of injuries because that inflammatory process increases that stickiness at the site of the injury. So regular yoga is the only thing that has ever helped my back to be functional, period. So even if I don't feel like it, I move my body. I have to. Um, if you don't use it, you lose it. And I work with people every day who can't even lift their arms over their head because they've stopped trying. They've stopped moving and they just get older and thicker and stickier. And then the muscle fibers actually shorten and then they don't know how to stretch out anymore. And we call that contraction in medical terms. But getting older doesn't mean that you have to develop this slow shuffling bent over posture and have gnarled fingers from arthritis. You have to choose movement and you have to make it a habit.